Welcome back, this is Ballas Kubo in an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined as always by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman when we last left off. There was a purple circle for us to step into. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Through the purple circle, we find ourselves in Doga's Grotto. Which is not a place I want to be. An old man's grotto. I hear they have Legionnaire's disease down here. That is not not an appetizing place for for, for us kids to be at. Uh, holy crap! Ten thousand gil. We got ten thousand gil, you guys. That was unexpected. So we'll just keep going. Doga is just throwing money our way. Apparently, he's just got this stashed. Could have given this to me before. Could have bought some stuff. Another 10,000. This guy was just loaded. Loaded. We've seen you. Let's just keep going. This guy, we got a rich old guy with a grotto. What possibly could go wrong? I don't want to go this side first. Go up here to the northwest-ish room. Whatever. We get a rising sun. A lust dagger. And white musk. Well, yeah, white musk, it's rare. But we seem to be getting a lot of them. What is this rising sun? Is it a throwing knife or. It's a boomerang, of course. Of course it is. Because they have all the boomerangs in Japan. Let's go down here, see what we can find. Up here we find. Nothing! Awesome. Not even like a secret passage or anything. Thank you for a wasted room, Final Fantasy 3. I guess we'll go over to the other side then. See what we have over here. Nice. This this dungeon is kind of peaceful looking, if that makes sense. I, I kind of like it. We get Chocobo's Wrath in there. And more stairs leading down. We go deeper and deeper into the grotto. Plus, we find a phoenix down, which is awesome because, uh, yeah, you can't buy them. Once again, I've gone over that, but, yeah, you can't buy phoenix downs, which is why it's so important to pick every single one of them up. Really? I was about to say, there's like no random encounters. That is so weird. And in this treasure chest here, we get a phoenix down. Awesome. And through this last little door, it looks like an. Damn! Like, freaking Red Sea in here with water on both sides. Oh, Doga and Unai, how you guys doing? You have come. We must make the key to Eureka Hole once more. That's right. Put him up. Wait, what? What? No, but we can't. Listen to me very closely. In ancient times, there were weapons too powerful for mankind to use. Those weapons were sealed in Eureka. But now, their time has come. And the Eureka Key needs the energy from Doga and myself to be complete, understand? No, you can't ask us to. Doga, Unai, we can't fight you. It must be done. Have it your way. If you do not defeat us, you will die. Doga attacks you. Yeah. Holy shit, what the f- <laughs> That's Doga, apparently. That is the craziest looking old man I have ever seen. I'm gonna use an attack spell on him. Go, Aroga! Jump on Doga! Let's see how much damage this does. I don't think it counts as flying, so. And I know he's not weak to it. Eh, 1700. Well, 1800. Not bad. Go, Earthquake! Yeah, we're not doing bad here. Not doing bad. Another 2,000 damage in. Oh, Viraga. At least it spread out, but damn, that's going to be strong. And then he whips. <laughs> he whips an oven into shape. Nicely done, I guess. Alright, we're going to cure. Go, Kira. Oh, another earthquake coming in. 3,600 damage. Oh, 5,000. Nice. Don't you... 
Oh, okay. Jesus. Like, if you cast Fire Aga before that Kira comes off, I am screwed. Go, Kira. Not bad. I could use definitely more healing, though, so I'm going to use a Kiraga next time. Let's go for that. And Kiraga, and you jump once again. You go Wind Slash. Once again, he has no weakness, but... Down he goes! <laughs> Die, Dogo, whatever the fuck that was. Uh, okay. Just a flying ball in the sky. Got whatever, 12,000 gil, 3,400 experience, a job level up for Novin, a level up for Bloon, and a high potion. You can only steal high potions from him. Uh, if it, if I don't say what you can steal from him, it's, it's high potions. Doga, no! It's my turn now. Let's see what you're made of. Unai, don't make us do this. Be quiet, there's a time for talk, but this isn't one of them. Now have at you! But don't worry, even if our bodies are lost, our souls will still remain. Now take this! It looks like she's prepping a Kamehameha! Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, let's get that Kiraga off. You jump! Thank you for jumping. Let's go, Kiraga. There we go. There we go. That's that's a good cure right there. Go cave in! How much damage does that do? 45, 25. Nicely done. Nicely done. Another 2,800 there. You use Aroga on everybody, so, you know, damage is spread out, so it shouldn't be still quite damaging, actually. Go for that again. We'll go for another Kiraga because I still have five more, so why not? It's not like I'm going to be using them all this fight. Make sure everybody is fully healed, and then we can continue to do more damage. 6,500 damage there. Nice. Another 2,800 and an earthquake, just for good measure. 3,900 and another Aeroga. Just on Able. Don't hit Able. Good job. Alright, go for that. Terrain. Just the Kira, not able only, and then you jump, and then you'll heal yourself when you when you hit. Go wind slash. That not, might actually be enough. Down goes Unai. Hooray! We've beaten up old people. It's about time. I've been itching to, to to beat up some old people. You get twelve thousand six hundred gil for that fight, and four thousand experience. A job level up for Able. Job level up for Sackman. Nice, I will take it. Give me that key. The key to Eureka. Give me all that weapons that you've been talking about. Doga, Unai, the Eureka key is now complete. Take it. Obtained your Eureka key. Doga, spare yourselves the distress. Our souls will still remain, even if our bodies are lost. You must go forth and stop Zandi. He's in the circus tower. Seriously? Whose entrance is guarded by four ancient statues. You must banish the darkness from this world. I know you can do it. I can see the light within you, each bright and strong. The light of courage. The light of kindness. The light of affection. <laughs> I'm sorry, she Oh, man, Blue, it's okay. You don't have to cover your mouth. It's, it's fine. And the light of determination. Your hopes and desires all turn into light and give you strength. Banish the darkness from this world. Warriors of the light. Here, take this too. The circus key. It opens the sealed door you'll find inside the tower. We will be watching over you. Please. You must save Zandy. Save? I thought we had to kill him. Well, apparently we were in the saving business. This is news to me. Unai! No! They faded! They faded away! But that's it for the dungeon. Hold on. Alright. I have a little bit more time than I thought, so we might as well warp on out of here. We'll teleport. 
do not warp in this game. You teleport out of places. Get back on our Nautilus. And we need to make it back to our Invincible. Now that I know how to get where it is I'm going. I'm going this way. It's probably faster this way anyway. Yeah, look at that. Damn, mountains getting in my way. They never do give you an airship that can fly over all of them. And that kind of makes me mad. Kind of makes me mad. There it is. There's our invincible. Let's get on that. But yeah, uh, hold on for one second because I never did buy the equipment here. Hold on. Alright, did purchase everything that I needed in here, and it's time to move on to our next location. And th th they didn't really even say where we were going, did they? Which kind of makes me mad. Kind of makes me mad. But we need to head there anyway, so we need to go pretty much the only place that we haven't been able to go before as soon as the Invincible decides it wants to leave the continent. Okay, we need to go over here to the northeastern continent. The only place we haven't been able to go. Because, uh, right, there's four statues guarding the place. So we need to find these four statues. You need to be in the Invincible for this, I do believe. Where? If the entrance is on the other side, I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> it is on the other side. Okay. So we need to get inside. The only, the only freaking place. Here it is. Here's the entrance. Here are the set of statues that we need to bust on through. What the hell? It looks like we can't get through this without getting out of the airship. So we might as well do that. Let's get out of the airship and then we can walk through the statues. There we go. Apparently if you're in the airship, the things don't work. And you do need all things, all four of them, to get through all four of these statues. Makes sense? Makes sense. And do you see those mountains there? That means we need to get back in the airship. Why they made you get out of the airship in the first place is beyond me. But they did. They're like, no, you, you, you can't do this from inside the airship. I'll, I'll just chuck my fang at it. You know, that, that should work. No, how dare you? Fine, we'll do it your way again. We will go through the statues and we'll find our way to giant forests. Ooh, and a castle. I can't go in there. And it looks like we're going to have to go in there next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Abel, Novin, Bloom, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.